Well, fairly quiet uh, to end the weekend yesterday, but it looks like some more intense showers and thunderstorms are possible as we get through the afternoon into the evening hours today. If you look at the overall chance of severe weather, see that pretty much the northern half of our area, Riverton Cast, we're onto the north lot. Some chance of seeing a strong to severe thunderstorm. Best chance for it usually is Buffalo down toward Casey onto the east where the deeper moisture is going to be. And you think of three things when you think of severe thunderstorms tornadoes, hail, as well as uh, strong winds. Now, We'll put these in order. The least threat is probably going to be a tornado. We'll call that the number three threat. There we go. Very much follows the slight area, about a 2% chance within 25 mile point of anywhere in this area. We've got Buffalo down toward KC. Maybe a very small chance across the northern Bighorn Basin. This is by far the least threat we'll see. Number two threat, that's going to be large hail. Again, slight chance across here. Now, the best threat of this will be further north. You go so places like Lovell, maybe north of Grable, Cody onto the north. We'll see a better chance of that. The further south you go, there'll be some drier air in place down here across this area. So less of a chance. It could it's a small chance of seeing something, but best chance of large hail will be across far northern and far eastern portions of the area, with the greatest threat heading out towards South Dakota. So if you're heading out toward the Black Hills, keep an eye on the sky there. Now the main chance I think across most of the area is going to be strong wind gusts. And this area traces it pretty well. Now, best chance of that I think will probably be across the southern portions of this area, Thermopolis down toward Riverton. Much uh, drier to, Air in this area, dew points are a lot lower than they were during the last few thunderstorm events. So this could be a situation where you get a shower or thunderstorm. Might not be any rain falling out of it, but you could get a very strong wind gust out of nowhere as well. Those dry microbursts is what we call them. But anyone can get a strong wind gust, even though here across the moisture areas, could be a wet microburst up in this area. So as we sum things up, the big difference here, this is going to be a later show than a lot of the uh, events we've had lately. A lot of the events, thunderstorms started popping late morning. Morning should be dry here. This will be mainly a later afternoon into the evening. Even tonight, we could see some thunderstorms lingering across portions of the area. Also, the best chance of seeing severe thunderstorms between about 3 and 10 o'clock after. Between that, could be thunderstorms after or before that, but it looks like a lesser chance there. Johnson County had the best chance of seeing severe thunderstorms to follow by Bighorn County and maybe Northern Park County. All in Northern Wyoming will have a chance, though, but again, further south you go, the main trail will be strong wind gusts, fair chance of large hail and maybe even an isolated tornado the further north and east you go. And damaging wind gusts, like I said, main threat, best chance of large hail in northern Wyoming, best chance of a tornado will be in Johnson County, especially along and east of Interstate 25. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the holiday weekend.